Welcome to Child Care Success Tools Owner and Director Success Interview. My name is Ashley Benz. I am your host for today and I am the founder and owner of Child Care Success Tools. I am also your child care business strategizer and mindset mentor. And today's guest is owner and director of Little Explorers Child Minding in Chestire, Chester United Kingdom. Tell us who you are and what part of the world you live in and all that good stuff. So just kind of give us a little bit of introduction. So my name's Carolyn. Um, I'm from England, UK. I'm near Manchester. Um, I'm a mom of three. Okay. I have two boys who are 12 and three and a little girl who's eight. Oh, okay. Okay. So you said 12, three and eight. Yeah. Oh, so your youngest one is three year, as a three-year-old. Yeah, my youngest is three, and now this is twelve. Oh wow! And you, you okay? You said you two boys and a girl, or? Yep, two boys and a girl. Two boys and a girl. Wow, wow! So you're pretty busy then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the history of your childcare business, how you got started. And um, why did you get started in the child care industry? Uh, I've always wanted to work with children ever since I was a little girl. Um, I've done all my education towards working with children and got my degree. Um, and then I just thought it'd be so wonderful if I could open my own business and work from home and still be around my own children and spend quality time with them whilst I'm working. Okay. So that's why I got started. Wow, wow. And so you got started, um, how long ago was that? Uh, six years. Six years. Okay. So you've been in business for um, six years. And how has that gone for you, um, Carolyn? Like, let me fix this too. But how, how has that, what's the six years been like for you? Um, it has been up and down. Yeah. Um, my main issue was low numbers. Okay. Okay. Just not having many children. Um, I'm in an area where not that many mums work. Right. Um, and just getting the children in has been my main issue. Sometimes I've been really busy and other times I've been really quiet. Right, right. So they're really like over the six years, you really didn't have that consistent flow of enrollments and things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so what challenges, like whenever you went online to find help uh, for whatever it was that you searched for, what challenges were you struggling with? Was it the, the low enrollment and things of that nature? Yeah, definitely. I was struggling with low enrollment. I felt like I was quite lucky. I knew a lot about looking after children, about the education, how they right. learn. I'd studied all that, but the enrollment was something nobody was teaching. Yeah, yeah. Nobody was willing to share. Right. Yeah. And I know, I mean, that's kind of what I ran into too, that nobody was just willing to share, you know, I would Google things and you would get a little information, but it was just, it was information that kind of like, it, it just left, I know it left me stuck and frustrated, you know, and I would go back to my center and I'm like, well, you know, this information here is, is great, but it, it, I know for me, at least Carolyn, it was like, I need it more like step by step or, you know, I just feel like people were just kind of leaving out things. And so it kind of left you with information that sounded great. But I know for me, at least it was just like, okay, there's, what can I do with this? So I completely relate to that. So what exactly, or how did you find me? What was you, what was, what did you do? Or what, like, tell me how, how that all happened. <laughs> I was on YouTube. Um, I don't know what I was looking for. Okay. <laughs> you came up on the side in kind of the suggested videos and it was all about um, enrollment and how to increase your enrollment. So wow. I clicked. I think I just gained an, 
kind of instant connection with you. Yeah. Um, and I thought, you know, your price was very, very reasonable. Right. But, well, let's give it a go. See what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And say, it's not something I have to sign up for ever. So if it's, you know, something that is not for me. Right. I can do it for a month and go out again. But it was definitely something <laughs> that I found so useful and I really enjoyed yeah 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 because you're still here so <laughs> so um that that month turned into another month and 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 so but i'm i'm super excited though that you definitely gave it gave it a shot and i know that um even i know like for me i'm really particular as to things online and you know you hear all these things out there about um you know these get rich quick schemes and all that kind of stuff and so i always wonder like when people do enroll in the program like what was it? Um, but uh, but I'm definitely glad to glad to hear that you did. You know, take that you you took that leap, and and you went for it. So <laughs> definitely glad to hear that. Because um, and we're gonna get in in a few minutes about just the 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 benefits from the program and all that good stuff, which I'm excited to hear about. So okay, and I want to say that you've been in the program. So if that was my first one, then I want to say that was maybe in August or September. Because I remember I did a, a webinar series and it was like, it ran for three months straight and I was doing like one each month. Um, so I want to say that was maybe in, because I did August, it was August, September. September. Was it September? Okay, that's right. So, so you've been a part of the program since September of last year, which was 2016 for those that are watching um, and all that. But yeah, so wow. So, okay, well then I'm ready to start jumping into some of the, the good stuff here. How much, since you've been enrolled in the Run It Like a CEO, how much has your enrollment increased? I have gone from hardly any children to completely full. Wow. With a weight. Wow. Uh, which has been 13 at its highest, it's now at nine. Um, and I have people ringing me up almost as soon as they find out they're expecting. Wow. Saying, Can I on your waiting list, can I come and have a look round? Wow. It's made a huge difference. I could have never imagined mm -hmm. kind of eight months ago that I'd have a waiting list. Wow. Um, I've been joking with my partner for the first time I get a phone call and somebody says we're thinking of having a baby can we come and have a look around yeah <laughs> wow wow so in eight months then you went from do you remember how many that you had before the program um I had two who came occasionally wow wow that's crazy. So you went from two to completely filled and you are licensed for 13? Uh, I have 13 at the moment, yeah. Okay. So you went from two to completely filled and with the now you have a waiting list all within eight months. That, yep. Carolyn, that is crazy. And I know that like, I mean, I'm actually, so for those of you that are watching, I'm actually hearing this kind of um, not for the very first time, but like, I'm actually, this is the first time that I'm actually like hearing like the eight months and the how many and all the details guys. So that is crazy. That is amazing. Um, wow. Okay. And I, as far as the, because I know people are probably wondering, okay, you know, she went from two kids to, um, you know, completely filled and a waiting list within eight months. So a lot of people might be wondering how much work actually was that? Like, just be honest. Was it, was it hard work? Was it easy? I mean, obviously, you know, you're going to have your good and bad days, but um, like looking back now that you're, now we're here, you can look back eight months ago. How difficult was it to actually go through the program and actually start implementing, um, implementing the systems and processes? Um, I found it really easy. Wow. Um, once somebody was giving it step by step and telling me what to do and kind of a more modern way of marketing, I mean, I've done kind of adverts, 
in the local shops and posters and yeah. once we kind of got onto Facebook and things and then as soon as I started to get more people through they would tell somebody else right they would tell somebody else and it just became word of mouth really quickly wow wow that is so and cool I really didn't have to do very much to be honest wow that is amazing so okay Facebook ads because this is one Carolyn that everybody is like do they work and things like that what has been your experience with Facebook ads um I've not actually done Facebook ads oh as okay. such. I've just been really kind of making sure my Facebook page is up to date okay it's got lots of information on there not only about kind of activities we do but things to help mums and things parents can do at home right um and I found just through that and not even paying for ads just having a good Facebook page has really helped wow wow and yeah I mean you know a lot of it and I know we right now uh with CST this month, we've been talking about branding, marketing, and selling. A lot of it, Carolyn, and I'm glad that you said that because this is pretty much, you know, letting letting you guys know out there that you don't have to do Facebook ads. Um, that is my number one way of marketing a child care program because you can target families. However, if you really get your marketing and um, you know all that stuff down, and just being consistent with your Facebook page and things of that nature people will find you and i and i love the fact carolyn that with you it's it's word of mouth and just to be quite honest word of mouth is the best advertising and marketing that anybody can have um just like me and you today right now obviously you're going to be word of mouth you know for others out there and it's 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 almost like a priceless thing when you get a family to um, basically vouch for you to say, hey, you know, try her out. She's wonderful. My kids go there. This is the benefits they get from her program. It, it, it is absolutely priceless. So I'm really glad that you mentioned the fact that, you know, that you just basically, you know, did it through being consistent with your Facebook page. And, um, and, and that is, that's actually really amazing that you, that you were able to do that. What can you, can you kind of share? Do you have like a a system that you have in place for posting on Facebook or do you, are you consistent or um, what kind of what what do you do like because I know people are going to be wondering like what is it that you do so I try and post an activity every day so something okay. super fun that we have been doing um, today with the little ones we were doing um, painting with paintbrushes and cooking oil so it's something oh. a bit different yeah so I post in activities um I also use my cover okay. to keep parents kind of updated with what they're doing so this week's theme is spring so I've changed my little cover and it says it's, you know spring happy spring from little explorers right um, Mondays I do a Monday motivation that was in one of your lectures yeah just to kind of get parents inspired and right kind of awake and happy yeah yeah um and also kind of tips and activities that parents can try at home or anything else that i find you know five great things to say to your kids <laughs> right yeah so things that are going to get them engaged as well as activities we've been doing right okay okay so it just sounds like to me it's just a lot of simple things but it, you're being consistent with it yeah okay okay and I know definitely with Facebook just in general that you know Facebook really does help pages that are consistent um, so that I mean that is really good information for people to know for directors and owners to know because it is it's about being consistent we especially when you're on social media um, and especially when you get like a following they in some ways they actually expect you know they look for your post or things of that nature so okay so let's talk about money okay because this is what <laughs> 
this is what everybody is, you know, everybody loves to talk about money and things like, of that nature. And I know obviously you, you're not in it for the money, but one of the things obviously that I teach um, in the program is the fact that it's all about enriching your own life, not just the laws of children and families, because obviously we, that's what we are natural at doing, but your own life. So how much has revenue and profits for your childcare business increased? Just, um, just whatever you're willing to share, um, how much has that increased since being enrolled in the Run It Like a CEO group coaching program? So in the last month, I made three times more money than I did in the entire last financial year. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. And obviously, I mean, that's, yeah, like you go from two kids to being completely filled, that, that's going to change some things in your pocket. So <laughs> Probably increased about 30 times, making 30 times more money. Wow. That's wow. Before I it's increased dramatically. Wow. Wow. So, okay, because I know one thing about the fact that when you do go, because that is two kids to being completely filled with the waiting list in eight months, that, that's a lot going on at one time. Um, how did you deal with the, the, the growth? Because I know I talk about that, that growth is great, but when you get that rush coming in, um, can you give any tips as to maybe and how you dealt with that growth period? Uh, was it was it difficult? Did you run into a period where you were like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? Like all over the place. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It grew so quickly that, yeah, I was feeling like I'm all over the place. Yeah. yeah. I am kind of not working many hours to doing 12 hours a day. And it's every day, right. including weekends sometimes. One of the things you teach is organization as a director and owner. And the mind dumping, I felt like I had so much to do. I just couldn't hold it all in my head. Yeah. So we went through mind dumping and writing everything down and then attaching a time and a date to it and having a calendar and outlook. So that was something that I really needed to do and I, you really need to be organized especially yeah. if you're in a home and you've right. got your own children and obviously your mom and you've got your housework and you know everything else that goes with it yeah 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 and so, yeah I mean that yeah that that being organized I mean I'm glad that you said that because for those of you that are wanting to increase your enrollment you're wanting to get those kids in um, that's that's okay, but you have to be ready for that growth. And if you're going to do that, you're going to have to be organized. And so Carolyn is is saying that, yeah, you know, you have, and especially if you're a um, a family child care home or now in the UK, it's called child minding, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So I, I like that. That's a, that's a, that sounds to me, it sounds better than family child care home. I know in the, over here in the States, you know, that's what they call it, but I like child minding because uh, it really, to me, it says that you're actually, you know, molding that child's mind, and and um, and I, I really like that. But but yeah, you know, especially if you're doing a child minding or family child care home, um, and yes, especially your your mom of three, you know, you're right. You know, we we are more than a child care business owner. Um, a lot of us are we're moms, we're dads, we're husbands, you know, whatever wives, we're all these things. Um, so I, I, I love the fact that you said being organized because yes, that is, that is what's going to be needed for anyone that wants to increase their enrollment and, um, and get results basically. So with that revenue, um, and your, your revenue and profits basically increase, increasing 30 times, how Carolyn has that changed your personal life? Um, well, we were able to go on a fantastic holiday. Yeah. Um, not only were we able to go on a brilliant holiday, we were able to do some fantastic things while we were there. Wow. You know, anything my children wanted to do, you know, we could just say yes to. Wow. Because I had the money. Um, and I was able to treat myself. We went out for some really nice meals. 
um, a New Year's Eve. Yeah. We went, my mum and dad had the children and we treated ourselves to VIP in a nightclub. Wow. New Year's Eve, which was very nice. And I think some people who were sat in the VIP area was, may have been famous because there was TV cameras pointing at us all night. Wow, that is so neat. I remember, because I remember you posting those pictures and I think I do remember you saying something about you was on TV, but I didn't, I didn't know like, you know, I, don't, I didn't know like if it was, I didn't know what you meant by that. I thought maybe that there was like just some, a local news, kind of, I don't know, and I don't know if that's what it was, but so you were, basically surrounded or in a um in an area where there were like celebrities there I well obviously we were in Portugal so oh. we didn't know obviously who they were maybe people <laughs> from Portugal yeah would know. Uh, but we were kind of really able to do that wow um, and obviously to do things with my children and take my son is a big food fan he loves his food and he loves his fancy food fancy restaurants wow so i was able to treat him to a nice fancy meal in wow. a really nice restaurant the, the number one restaurant on the island wow wow that is i mean that is like that's the dream right that is, you know, that is the dream. That's, and to me, Carolyn, that is what this program is all about, is not only enriching the lives, of, but your life. And I'm so thankful that, that you've, you know, been able to do that, man. And I like the fact that you also said that not only were you able to go to these places, but you were able to actually afford to do things. Because a lot of times, you know, yeah, you know, we can, we may can go on a vacation, but then like, while you're there, you know, um, you have to do the cooking or I know we've done those kind of things like <laughs> as kids our family we would go on these beach vacations and um, to save money you know they would go get groceries and and cook and things like that and of course there's nothing wrong with that but when you're on vacation like I know I don't want to do anything I don't want to make the bed I don't want to cook <laughs> I don't want to do anything so to actually be able to go and then actually enjoy yourself and afford to do those things um, for your family. That is what it's all about, Carolyn. So I am, I'm just, I'm loving, I'm loving to hear this stuff. Um, it's, it's just really, this is what I wanted for directors and owners is to be able to do those kind of things and put a smile on your family's face. What has it done for you as like a mom? And because I know now, right now, you're still working. Are you still working those same amount of hours or? I'm still working. Okay. I'm still working those long hours. Um, unfortunately, in the UK, you can only have another person in for two hours maximum to oh. kind of look after the children. Wow. Okay. While you're not around. Oh. Um, I think the organization has definitely helped. Right. I feel like I'm managing to get more organized more done and i'm not spending that spare time catching up on everything that needs doing yeah yeah because i know how many hours do you think you were working before you were able before you got, kind of got organized and and took some of the took or took the course was it owner and director course how many hours were you working then um it must have been 12 13 a day wow wow and so how many hours are you working now? It's probably got between 11 and 12. Okay, so still about the same. It's still about the same, but I'm definitely feeling more organized. Organized. And in, you're, you're in control of those, those hours that you're working. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. do feel like I'm all over the place. I feel like, you know, things are happening at the right time. Wow. Wow. Well, that is... Um, you know, that's just what it's all about, is being in control of your business, you know, and that's what the program is called, Run It Like a CEO, and a CEO is always in control, even when things aren't in control, um, the CEO is able to pull it together and just go with the flow or whatever the case is there, 
Um, and so I'm just, I'm really, I'm really thankful that the program that you're getting those benefits from the program, Carolyn, because like I always tell people, I didn't want to create something and then, you know, people are investing their money and their time into it and it doesn't work. Um, I know that it worked for me and, but you know, a, a lot of the times, I mean, just what's out there, you know, you do have, you do have coaches just honestly that they want you to pay this, a lot of money out for something. Um, and then, you know, you're, you still, you're still stuck, like you don't get results. So for you to tell me, you know, this information about just how the program has benefited you, how you um, were able to be amongst celebrities and, 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 uh, and where was it again you said you went to? Port, uh, Madeira, it's a little island near Portugal. Portugal, okay. That right there is like that. I love that. I love that. I just, I love that you were able to do that. There's a lot of people that actually has gravitated to me that are trying to get started, which is something that I didn't really realize that there was actually a need for. I knew there was a need for it, but not in the way that it has been. And so um, tell me, for those that are trying to get started, Carolyn, would you recommend this program to them? Absolutely. Um, okay. I wish this had been around six years ago. Yeah. When I started, um, I felt like I spent six years kind of trying to figure out all the kind of business right. side of things. I think I was pretty confident with the managing the children, the learning, the development. But yeah, the marketing and the business, like I said, I spent six years mm. trying to figure this out. And if you're out there and you're just getting started, then I'd say enroll in the program and get it all sorted before you open your doors. Yeah. Don't waste six years yeah. trying to figure it out by yourself. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I know. And me and you definitely can relate to that because it's just for me, it was so, it was six years. Um, until I kind of figured all this stuff out. And um, I, I did the, the webinar last night and I talked about that of like, how did I come up with all this stuff? And I didn't even really realize what I was doing, Carolyn, until um, I sat down one day and I had to go and train my director. And I was like, well, you know, if I'm gonna train her, I'm gonna have to like put this on paper because right now everything that I do is up here in my head. And it's going to be hard for me to say, well, this is how you do it, you know, and not have some kind of visual or training or something like that. And so when I, when I laid everything out on paper, um, it was basically just all the systems, the automatic cycle system for staffing and, and, and um, doing the marketing and all that stuff. It was just like, I mean, it, it was kind of like an eye opener to me. And I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that I was doing this stuff. And I was like, I have to, you know, I have to get out there and share this because I, I know that there's people like me that has wasted six years, you know, trying to go through and figure out their, their childcare business and how to run it. Um, so, so I'm just, I'm just thankful that, you know, that, that, that you found it when you did, um, obviously, so that you didn't have to go through another six years, <laughs> but you, what you did, you know, the, the beginning of the six years, um, I'm, I'm just so thankful that you were able to, to find it and that whatever day that was, I don't know what you were looking for that day on, on, on YouTube, but I'm just thankful that I popped up on the side and, 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 and YouTube said, Hey, look at her. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate you doing this, this interview with me. Um, is there any last things that you would tell someone that is on the fence about, um, you know, enrolling in this program? Maybe they're looking at other programs out there. I don't know if you know of other programs or did you ever kind of look at other programs? What could you tell somebody that's kind of like on the fence with enrolling in the Run It Like a CEO group coaching program? Um, I had looked at one other program. Okay. Um, the thing I really liked here was obviously the video lectures. That's something that I really liked and I really enjoyed. Okay. Um, some people do offer kind of books and written information. I find both works really well. You okay. do a video lecture and then you have a, a little handout and some homework to do. Say, 
Ashley is very involved in all her Facebook groups. Yeah. You really do kind of, you really take care of us. Yeah. And you really hold our hands all the way. So if you're looking for somebody who's really personal and gets involved, then Ashley is definitely, definitely the right coach for you. And the other ladies in the group coaching program as well, that we're a lovely group of ladies and CEOs and we really do kind of look after each other and support each other. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you are kind of out of the United States, I think it's a really good benefit for you to be communicating with people around the world as well as people locally and in your own country. Yeah. And you're getting kind of help and support across the globe, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm definitely glad that you mentioned that because um, you do get like, I mean, obviously if you can get information from all around the world, then it's like the sky is the limit for child care owners and directors for us to actually come together, you know, and be able to share that, that information. For example, you know, over in the UK, I know you guys call it child minding. And I'm actually more interested in that just because of what it's called in the UK and just to learn more about, you know, how that works. And, and, you know, although here in the States, you know, we are licensed differently and there's different regulations, but who's to say that someone couldn't take some child minding techniques or things like that and incorporate them into their program over here in the state so that I'm, I'm glad that you that you mentioned that Carolyn because yes this is um, this is it is a lovely group of, of uh, CEOs and directors and everybody is so supportive and the one thing I do like about it um, just as I'm thinking about this you know is the fact that we're all most of us are women there is a, there is a few maybe there's one I think there's one uh, male that's in the program, but, but most of us are women, are, are women, and I know a lot of times, you know, when you get a lot of women together, sometimes it can get, there's that, that caddy, or, you know, there's a competition kind of thing, and I know, um, yeah, with us, it's not like that, so. Not like that at all. There's a lot of groups I'm in in the UK, and it is, we're such a positive group. Yeah. We really support each other. We're not a kind of negative group. We don't whinge or complain. Right, yeah. I think that's what I really like about it because we're so positive and we motivate each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I, I, you know, obviously I've been watching you in the group. Um, I know that you have even you, well actually you sent me a Facebook message and you shared with me and I was like, oh my, and I've been wanting to do one of these. Um, but I was like, well, I need to find someone, you know, that's been in the program for um, quite some time and, and has really gotten a chance to implement. And so when you sent me that message, I was like, Carolyn, you're the, you're the one. <laughs> but I'm super excited. I'm glad that you were my first interview. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing some more great things going on with Little Explorers Child Minding. So... Well, Carolyn, I really appreciate your time. Um, I know that there it is. What time is it? It's going on like nine o'clock your time there. Yeah. So um, I definitely don't want to keep you up because as your coach, you know, I'm going to tell you, you've got to go to bed and get your rest <laughs> so that you can get up in the morning and do it all over again. But I really appreciate you being here and doing this interview and just sharing your your story with child care success tools and, and how the program has benefited you personally and professionally and, and just with your, your business uh, life in general. And so I really appreciate it, Carolyn. And I look forward to hopefully doing another interview like this, maybe eight months down the road and, and you telling me some more great things that's going on with uh, Little Explorers Child Minding. And you are in Chester, is it Chester? Yeah, Chester, near Manchester. Chester, okay, Manchester. So thanks so much, Carolyn. Um, you have a good rest of your evening. Make sure you get some rest. And uh, and and thank you so much for, for doing this interview. So Ashley, for, for wanting me to do the interview with you. I'm really honored. 
All right, you guys. Well, that was the interview with uh, director and owner Carolyn with Little Explorers Childminding in Manchester, UK. And um, I hope that you enjoyed that. This was, you know, once again, this, is, this was our first uh, Child Care Success Tools Director Success Interview. And I am so excited to be able to do these. And so basically, I'll be doing these more. I actually have some other directors that have had really great results with the program and I and I want to be able to share um, those directors stories and successes with you so if you like this video be sure that you give this video a thumbs up be sure that you give Carolyn a thumbs up she was a little bit nervous in the beginning I told her she'd be fine and she did a great job I'm super proud of her and also guys listen if you are interested in the program, I am going to leave uh, the link to enroll in the program in the description box below. Now, let me just kind of go over uh, briefly with you what the program is and, and all the benefits that you get from enrolling in my Run It Like a CEO group coaching program. So the first benefit that you get is you get access to my entire online campus, okay? Uh, right now, at the recording of this video, the online campus houses about 70, actually over 70 hours of video trainings where I show you step by step. Now, the cool thing I love about the, the lectures is that they are all video training lectures. And so basically, it's just like me and you sitting down right now and you're listening to me and I am actually showing you how to do Whatever it is that I'm teaching, I'm showing you step by step. Now, I will tell you that there is nothing out there like this available um, for the child care business industry. A lot of the different uh, types of digital products and, and things like that that you're going to see online is basically where you're going to have to purchase something for, you know, it might be $195 or $97, and you're going to have to purchase something that's going to only teach you one thing, and then if you want to learn more, guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to go in and 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 purchase more uh, digital products. So the thing with the Run It Like a CEO group coaching program is that all of the lectures are housed in the school, and as long as you're enrolled in the program, you get access to that day and night, 24-7. Um, another good thing about it is that the, the information in there, so the lectures, everything that you're, that you're getting, mind you, you are getting access to PDFs that you can download, so such as my handbooks, um, cheat sheets, checklists. So for an example, um, in the Enrollment Building Toolkit course, I have an actual checklist during uh, for a program tour process that's going to tell you exactly what you need to do to get your program or your uh, center or your home ready for uh, your program tour process, which I go over with you in the Enrollment Building Toolkit course. And so you're gonna get access to all of those things. Now, here is the cool thing about it. Because this is housed all online, okay, on my campus, if there's anything that I need to go in and update, then I can do that. Because you have access to you know, the program, then the content and the information in there always stays up to date and fresh, okay? Now, here's another cool thing about it is that I release lectures every single week. So you don't have to worry about, you know, um, enrolling in the program and then you've kind of ran through everything and then after so long it's like, okay, you know, I've kind of already went over this. This information is stale. It's old. You know, I'm kind of past that. Um, no, you don't have to worry about that because every week I release a lecture and so that ensures that the content um, and the lectures and the courses in my online campus in the school stays refreshed and up to date. Now, what you're getting access to is you're getting access to basically my 10 years of experience in running a successful child care business. So everything that I know, um, everything that's up here in my mind, in my brain, all the knowledge and all that good stuff gets poured into my online campus. And this is where I show directors and owners everything. I do not leave anything out. You guys that know me know I'm not a fluff stuff kind of person. If you want to know how to do something, I'm going to hold your hand and walk you through it from A 
to Z, right? I'm not gonna leave anything out because my goal for you, just like my goal is for Carolyn and the others that enrolled in the program is for you to get results. And for, for, for anybody to get results in something, you're gonna have to know the step-by-steps. You know, just saying that, you know, you need to have a waiting list for, you know, to build your enrollment or, you know, you need to, um, you know, have a complaint process to ensure customer service or you need to know how to attract employees just telling you those things and not actually showing you step by step you know you're not going to get anywhere my goal for you is for you to live an enriched fulfilled lifestyle that is my goal for all the directors and owners that are a part of uh, child care success tools community uh, anyone that works with me if you're a part of any of my programs if you take any of my courses my goal is for you to be able to enrich your own life, right? Because we're good, it comes naturally to us to enrich the lives of children and families. That's what we're good at, okay? So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going over with you that those type of things. Now we, we do cover lesson planning and, and, and we'll get into curriculum and things like that. But you're good at that, you don't need me for that. What you need me for is to be able to make money in your business, to profit, right? You need me to be able to um, help you live the life of your dreams. So whatever that looks like for you, okay? Not having to work so many hours. Listen, guys, you know, there is such an easier way to run a successful childcare business and you don't have to be doing the hustling kind of thing, right? The hustle days are over, guys, okay? There are too many businesses out there. If we look at all these franchises, you look at McDonald's, you look at Walmart, do you see the CEOs? And the, those, the owners of these, do you see them in there running, you know, around every day with their chicken with their head cuts off, working long hours and all that good stuff? Now, let me tell you this. There are going to be times that, yes, you may have to stay up late, okay, to get something done. But if you're doing that with my program, it's because you are working on putting something in place one time that's going to ensure, ensure that you don't have to stay up late again, on, on not on that, right? And, and over time you are going to be able to put these things in place, okay? To be able to have the childcare business of your dreams, okay? Listen, you're not gonna be able to, to, to really have what you need um, just ordering these little bitty, you know, courses here and there and books and all that good stuff. Now, now, now mind you, yes, you know, knowledge is power and the more you have, the more power that you have. But the right kind of knowledge to get you to where you wanna be quickly, and I say quickly, let me underline quickly. And the reason why I say quickly is because I was able to run my business, okay, off of the things that I'm showing you how to do. And, you know, I'm the one that put in the, the it took me six years, guys, okay? It took me six years to figure out how to do this stuff. So I've already done that for you. So I'm basically allowing you to piggyback on my back and I'm gonna carry you through this in a quick way because I've done been down the road of the trial and error, okay? And let me say this once again, it is not about hustling. I'm not gonna teach you how to hustle and how to stay up from sunup to sundown. Now, for those of you guys that are family child care homes, it is gonna be a little bit different. However, even for you, there is a way out of that vicious cycle of working all day long, guys, okay? And the program is designed to help you get there, okay? So I just want you to know that um, if you're really ready to take your child care business or program to the next level, you know, Carolyn told you about her success. Um, I mean, obviously within, within eight months, you know, and being enrolled in the program, her life has changed drastically. And so, you know, if you want those results that Carolyn and some of my other directors and owners are getting in the program, then this is it, okay? This is it. You've been looking for something. You're, you're here with me um, on this video for this long, and you've been looking, and this is it, okay? Um, so the link to enroll in the program is in the description box below. Now, I do want to invite you guys that are new to Child Care Success Tools, um, I do want to invite you to subscribe if you have not already done so 
Also, be sure that you like this video. Give Carolyn a thumbs up because she did such a great job. Give her a thumbs up for her success, guys. Come on. You know, it. this is a lot of hard work. The eight months that she's gone through, um, you know, she, I mean, obviously she just said that it wasn't, it was easy actually for her because she was just following pretty much what you want to call a recipe, right? It's just like if you're going to bake a cake and you follow that recipe to a T, it is so much easier than you trying to figure out all the ingredients, all the, the different types of ratios that need to be, you know, for for all the, um, for the, for the cake to properly um, rise. I mean, you know, look, I've done all that for you, okay? So uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I look forward in doing more of these Child Care Success Tools Director Success Interview. Once again, Carolyn, congratulations on your success. I am super proud of you. I am super proud um, to say that you were my very first Child Care uh, Success Tools Director Success Interview. Uh, once again, I've been having my eye on you. I know that you worked so hard, and I am just so thankful and blessed to have be able to meet you um, and have you a part of the program and for our, our, our paths to cross. And so for anyone else out there, guys, enroll. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I am sending you my prayers of success and encouragement your way for your child care business or program. And I will see you in the next video. So thanks so much again and have a wonderful day, night, whenever you're watching this, okay? I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.